Hi, and welcome back to my vlog, well, which I've now decided to call a farmer's life. Uh, which I suppose it sort of is. I suppose it's kind of a beginner's farmer's life, but anyway. So, it's harvest day. Um, I've gone back to uh, sort of doing the time-lapse video. It was a bit of a busy day and quite a long one, so um, I don't know what people thought about doing the live one. Uh, as I've done the last couple against doing the time-lapse that I was doing before, but anyway. Um, this one was easier done as a time lapse. I was in and out of the combine, in and out of the tractor, and it was a very long day. As you can see, we started quite early in the morning. I had no concept really as to how long it was going to take to harvest the field. Um, but uh, so that was the time, of course, and you know, we'd only just fixed up the combine as well. So it was um, it was worth checking that uh, you know we'd got. Making sure we got a bit of extra time in case anything went wrong, which actually, fortunately, it didn't. But anyway, so here we are, first thing in the morning, getting uh, getting started on the harvest. Of course, first time I've done this, I was um, very grateful to have got a bit of advice from my uncle yesterday. Um, he took me through obviously the controls and all that kind of stuff. Um, gave me a few pointers. Um, I did miss the bit, odd bit here and there as I was going around. Had to go back and do it later, but I um, eh, wasn't doing too badly really. It was a very satisfying thing to do. Um, obviously, I then just got started when we were. On the, on the farm that I bought, um, and so to move here, well, first unload, run and get the tractor. Yeah, that was quite satisfying, getting the first load into the trailer. But um, but yes, obviously I'd only just started when I, when I started doing the vlog. Uh, just, you know, not that long ago really. Um, but um, so to be here now harvesting and in a different farm, it's uh, amazing where life takes you, really, I suppose. But yeah, so we'll keep going round. Um, it's still relatively early in the morning at this stage, and uh, it's a big field for what is a relatively small combine. I mean, it is a small combine by combine standards, and for this combine, it's a relatively big field. For them, by big, big combine standards, it's not that big a field, but it's big enough for this combine, especially on my own. Right, a bit later on in the morning, still, <coughs> I mean, it's not early morning, but it's, you know, fairly early in the morning. Um, first unload, so that wasn't too bad. I can't remember how many unloads I did in the end. Four, maybe? So after lunch now, anyway, um, that must be more than four. I can't remember, we'll have to look at the side, let's see how much. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Afternoon now, as you can see, we've, we've got that funny shape bit done on the far side, and I've been around top and bottom a bit, so we've got the headlands done. And, um, I, well, it's now just a question of going up and down the field, really, as combining tends to be. Um, a bit of interesting stuff when we get to that tree in the middle. Um, but it wasn't going too badly, actually. I was very impressed with the combine. You know, a bit of tinkering I did with it yesterday seems to have helped a little bit, so. That's always a good thing when you're doing this. Alright, so here we go. Just getting to the um, 
the island in the middle. I, I'm undecided what to do about this. I'll have to talk to Uncle about it. He's clearly coped with it all the years, but I can't help but wonder whether it would be easier to work the field and a little bit more efficient, effective to take this out. We could take the tree down, you know, flatten out the ground a little bit and, um, <clears throat> and plough it out to join it to the rest of the field. On the other hand, it's a nice feature and the reality is that the time and cost of doing that may not be worth it. I mean, certainly for now, we'll, we'll leave it. It's not something we can uh, afford to do. And while we have smaller combines, it's not that big a deal. Right, another unload. I've, it's now in the evening, so I've cleared down <laughs> some more in the I just can't remember how many. It was a long day. Um, but yeah, six o'clock in the evening. Still a bit to do, but actually not too bad. Just finish off, I've done a bit more down the other right, other edge, so you know, by this stage we were um, we were looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. There are still missing bits, as you can see. There you go, half past seven in the evening, night's drawing in. It's starting to get a bit dark, so um, I actually it wasn't too long after this I stopped recording and even now I'm, you know, although I put some of this in because I wanted to get as close to the end of the harvest as possible in the video, I, yeah, it's a bit dark, um, but, uh, but there you go, the harvest was done in a day, I, I was actually amazed that I managed to get it all done, um, it really didn't feel like it at some point, but these last bits didn't take too long, but there you go, harvest done, what we need to do next is figure out uh, what we're going to do with the field. And, um, and what we do next. But um, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like subscriptions much appreciated. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.